Have you ever wondered, am I spending way too much time in HTML? How much HTML do I even need to know before I move on to CSS? Or is HTML still relevant in today's industry where JavaScript is dominating the industry? I'll go ahead and talk about that today after this intro. What is up guys, man? I know it's been a minute. I've never had this long of a break from uploading videos to YouTube, man. I'm so sorry about that. What I do want to talk about is HTML. And it's not really something I talk about often. Usually I focus on JavaScript, backend languages like PHP, and, you know, Ruby on Rails, and things you need to learn on JavaScript frameworks. But I just realized after looking at all the videos I've done in the past, I've actually always skipped the basics of HTML and CSS. And I think I want to focus on that today. And the reason I want to focus on this is because I am honestly getting a lot of messages about how much HTML do I need to know? Uh, when should I move on from it? And the reason I'm making this video is because people actually talk about some of my Discord channel. So if you have any questions or you want to go hit me up and message me, go ahead on my Discord channel right now. I'm, I'm on there all the time. I'm literally on there all day, except the weekends. I'm not on Discord, but on the weekdays, I'm there from morning and night. I'm on there all the time. Hit me up talk in the chat, be active and see you guys there. But right now, what I do really want to focus on and talk about guys is HTML. So I'm gonna make this video a little bit different. I'm actually gonna go ahead. I actually brought my MacBook Pro with me. I'm actually gonna be showing you through code how much HTML you need to know. You really don't need to know as much HTML as people actually say or you realize. A lot of times we're spending way too much time on HTML. We need to focus on it because honestly, everything you need to know about HTML, even in regards to CSS, is all on Google. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I think all you need to know in regards to HTML, then move on to CSS. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's go on my keyboard, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so we're here right now at tutorialspoints.com. Um, I just want to really show you really the basics of HTML and how many like different elements there are, and attributes and everything. Um, there's so many things that you could go on regards to this. Again, you could use Google, but I want to show you really the basics of all you need to know when it comes to HTML. And so you can move on to CSS and start making real pages to help you get a job and build that portfolio and everything you need to do. So let's go ahead and let's get in this really quick. So here's the HTML. Let's go ahead and look at the element tab. Okay, so here you go. HTML element tells you what it is. These are the elements you need to know. And there's a paragraph. There's an H1. It's like a header and a div where you put things inside the content within that div. Um, it's honestly really simple. I mean, there's so much on here. Yeah, so it's really simple. So what I want to do right now is actually show you the code. I'm going to go ahead and type this out for you. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, YouTube, so I just created an index file for us right now, and I really want to show you pretty much really all you need when it comes to making a website. And if you're already learning HTML, you should know some of this already. And if you're not, this is very simple. When it comes to creating a website, every website has this, an HTML element. Um, well, what we're working on right now, just so you know, this is called a DOM. What is a DOM? It is everything that you create. It's pretty much everything used to frame your actual website. So every page, because it's going to be coded in HTML, it needs to have these HTML brackets um, around it. That's just a standard. Um, you have other things, for example, right? Um, now, within the DOM, right, what you're going to do within this DOM is that you're going to have something called a body. And what do I mean by body? Um, let me actually move this really quick. Uh, let's position this at the bottom now. Okay. All right. I don't know why this is not hiding. It usually does hide, but yeah, I'm not sure why. Oh, there you go. Now it's hiding. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm, and, and for those who are wondering, I'm actually using something called Coded 2 and I'm actually going to go ahead make a review about the best text editor out there called Coded 2 in another video. But here we go. So um, it's really cool because what I like about Coded 2 is, for example, whatever I type in here, boom, if I don't even click save and it pops up in my preview, fi preview file, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, this is the body. Within the body is where you put in your text. For example, let's say, you know, I want to put in text like, you know, like, right, and subscribe boom it's going in there right on like and subscribe it goes in there and that's where you put your text but sometimes you know um because you know let's say for example you have an, uh, an entire essay and a lot of text in your page and you want to be able to divide it up right you want to be able to go ahead and be able to know what each line talks about and so you try to organize your text right and that is the something that is important as programming is that you have to actually have to know how to make it look clean and make it readable for other people so for example right now uh I want to say like and subscribe, right? Here's like and subscribe. And I want that to be, you know, let's say I want that to be my title. And I'm going to use an element called H1. Here's H1, right? Here's an H1 element. Boom, look at that. It made the text even larger. But you know what? I don't want that to be my title. So I want my other title, right? I'm going to use a header one. I'm going to make it called Dev's Life using camel case in that. Boom. That's the title of my page. And you know what? Now like and subscribe on the right side. It's kind of too big now. Let's make it a little smaller. Use H3. 
So what am I doing right now is that I'm actually using something using these headers or whatever you call it the headline tags my elements and I'm using that to title what my page looks like and I'm using all this through HTML no CSS whatsoever um, now let's say I got my page right now and now I want to be able to create a section where I want to explain who I am what about me this is really simple and if you even go to for example let's go to Safari right now let's say we go onto Safari but yeah, so this is all pure HTML. If you go to craigslist.com, you'll see that Craigslist is actually very similar. And I'll probably show that while I screen share and everything, all that later on. But yeah, so this is it. That's very simple. And now, let's say I want to create a section where I talk about me. So I'm creating a section element and within this section, you know what, I'm going to title it. Let's say I'm going to make it H2. I don't want it to be too large like H1 or too small like H3. I'll go in the middle and I'll title it about me. And you know, this is very simple. Of course, this is the best coding in the world. I'm just doing something very simple on the spot for you guys about me. And it's very simple. And within that text, let's talk about myself. So for example, say, I taught myself how to code in three months. Boom. Not just that, you know what? I also, not just that in three months, um, I use Team Treehouse to learn code. To learn code. Boom. Right. Not just that, um, uh, if, you, if you want to learn Treehouse, Check out link in the description. Boom, I had to use that plugin, right? Um, but look at this, man. You, you see my texture here, let's make this a little bigger. It, it's all lined up, but it's, hard, it's kind of too long, doesn't look clean. And so what I'm going to use is I want to be able to, to put my text in the way people can read it. Now, a lot of people will do this. They'll put different paragraphs, right? Um, boom, look at that, it separates it. And what happens is that you want to use paragraph tags, there's actually a margin around it. So now you can see there's actually spacing within my text. And that's, I mean, that looks cool, but you know that, that's kind of too much. And so what I'll often do, is I'll go ahead, you know, and let's just control Z, it's faster. And instead of putting a paragraph element around each line, I was going to do this, right? It's the exact same thing, um, but sometimes I'll just do this. And, and it, it, this isn't correctly, this doesn't mean it's bad or incorrect, but sometimes I'll do that because I don't want so much spacing in between the lines I have under my code. And that's why sometimes I do that. And look at this, I already have a simple page. Very, very simple, right? Now, this is plainly HTML. And a lot of times people wonder, like, how much HTML do I need to know? But it's very easy. A lot of times um, when you work with making websites, you use something, things like labels or drop downs. And some people wonder, when do I need to use a label or drop down? Here you go, I'm gonna use a label. And what does a label use? It's used to label um, something that you're trying to make. This is very simple. Simple, right I've never done a tutorial this will be my first one but here goes a label and look at that you don't see it on here because there's no text in here but boom look at this there's a label and even ha within the label what the it depends on my company we make a default we add margins to it and within this label I want to label what I want to do so this is about me now let's say for example within about me let's say within about me I'm selling shirts on my website does life clothing right so within this I'm gonna put something called I'm selling shirts right t-shirts boom right there but uh, and within that I need to select a drop down of shirts that you can buy right so here's my drop down right there look this the, I'll click on here there's nothing in there within that select you put options um, value uh, actually, I actually need to put that right now and say small. Let's say I want this medium. I mean, there's a lot. You could put large. There you go. And now it's all in here. It's honestly really simple. But let's say I don't want them to be in the same line. I want to drop down. I'm going to use another break point or whatever you call that right there. And let's say this is too small. This makes no sense at all. Or let's say I want it to go back up there because it looks a little weird. Let's put that up there. Right. Now, look at this. All of this looks the same. It looks too similar and nothing really stands out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and bold something called t-shirts. Boom, right there. And that bolds it. It, it. Like making these things are very simple. When it comes to HTML, a lot of people wonder like how much do I need to know? These are all things you can select. You go on Google, you Google how to make a draw down in HTML. You hop up in Google and what pops up? You go ahead, go in here and what pops up pops up are pages on, on maybe Stack Overflow on how to make a drop down in HTML. And there are things like, for example, let's say you can, within HTML, sometimes people think you need to use a style sheet to style your page. Sometimes people have something here called a style um, element where you can go ahead and target what you want to target. For example, let's say um, I have a class here, right, called Dropdown, right? This this is too thin. I want this to be larger. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is within here, I'm going to go ahead and actually target um, Dropdown, right? And within that Dropdown, um, I did a, the class that I target, I want the width to be 300 pixels. There you go. When it, when it comes to creating the DOM, 
it's really simple and I think a lot of people worry about how much HTML do I need to know HTML is something that you literally just use Google for to learn um, you don't need to know everything I don't know everything when it comes to HTML when I want to learn how to make a drop down when it comes to making a nav bar you say for example I want to make you know for this drop down right I want to be able to make a nav bar on top of my page where you know you can click create a menu and if you don't know how to do that you literally go to Google type in how to make a nav bar or something like that you go here you go to the page and from that page it tells you how to do it um, how do I make a footer you google that in HTML right and it'll tell you how to do that a lot of times what people turn to do is that they try to perfect HTML before moving on to CSS but a lot of the programmers today or front-end developers haven't perfected HTML we don't know everything when it comes to learning HTML we just know what we need to do or what it is that we need to be able to do to get the job done which is through Google that is what a front-end developer is good at is that you know how to research things online to get the things you need to get done and I think that is what people focus way too much on nowadays because they try to perfect everything but at the end of the day trying to perfect everything will mess you up as you can you can see this is really all I do at work all the time of course I have a style sheet where you know for example on here you could talk no, no, there's no class so I target the body I want to make the background color black right um oh that doesn't work but you know what maybe if I actually make my font right my font color white maybe you can see that boom but you say maybe black is too much let's say I want to make my background color light uh, gray right and my font to black now there you go that's a little easier for me it's, it's honestly really easy um you know let's say i want to talk to the section i mean it's really simple section right on just that section to have a background color i want that section to be yellow Boom, within this section about me right here right and within that you know what and, and i'm not saying this is a good design but let's say i want to make that color red boom it's honestly really simple and look at it you see the body there's like a padding around here maybe I don't want no padding around my body and so I'm gonna go ahead within that body I'm gonna select margin and make it zero boom I remove that right or if let's say I want to add padding with it uh, I want it to be skinnier boom right take that out let's say let's say now within everything on here right within the paragraphs I want to center the text I want to center all of this what I would do is for example let's say I'm targeting here h1 for example, I want text align center. Boom. It's it's honestly really simple. H1, right? H2, section. I target everything in section. Boom. Right? And H2, why is it not doing it? Um, oh, because it's H3 and not H2. Boom. There you go. See, it, it's very easy to do that. For example, let's say I want all, everything in text align to the right. Right? And you could do that as well. I mean, it's really simple. And the way you do this is you Google how to make something centered in CSS, um, HTML, and all these different things, and you're able to do it. And stop focusing on trying to get everything done perfectly, right? But all right, guys, so I hope that made some sense. I mean, I'm not sure if I really helped that much, but really, honestly, how much HTML do you need to know? You should only spend, honestly, one, two, if not three weeks max on HTML, move on to CSS. And then if you don't remember what to do, just Google it. And go to CSS, focus on that. And before you're from CSS, before you go to JavaScript, you know, spend a couple weeks, maybe a month or two on CSS and move on to JavaScript. All these things are honestly very easy to learn. The thing is, though, you just have to learn how to learn it. You have to learn how to research on Google and how to get these things done. I hope that makes sense, man. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm kind of rusty, but I will be making a video on how much CSS you need to know as well. And I honestly, honestly want to make a better video on how much HTML you need to know. I'll we'll probably even make a test website for you guys as well, like a you know, an example page. I don't know. This is the first tutorial I've ever done. It was probably really bad. But if not, you know, if you guys like it, if you want more stuff like this, more questions, leave a comment below. Like this video if you can. And thank you guys for watching. I plan on posting another video tomorrow on Thursday. This is Krishan. This is Life of a Developer, guys. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient. I am back. And go Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Peace out.